Good evening, class. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello teacher. Hello. Hello. How are hello, you? Miss. Can you hear me? No. ¿Me pueden escuchar? Yes. Very good. Yes. Okay. So, yes. you know, it is raining. Here, where I live, it is raining. Eh, ya estuve conectada desde las 7.15 de la noche y ya tuve dos bajones de energía. Entonces, por cualquier cosa les aviso, ¿verdad? Sí es cierto que son okay. cortos, pero a veces cuesta que vuelva a cargar el internet. Cualquier cosa, quédense ahí. Y si se les desconecta, solo avísenme por el chat para saber eh, si tuvieron problemas y a la hora de pasar asistencia, ponerle su asistencia, ¿ok? Ok. There we go. Eh, ok. You know, let's wait for your classmates. We are going to give your classmates one minute so they can come. Here we go. Teacher, yo no voy a encender la cámara porque no me siento muy bien ahorita. Okay, Solo voy gracias. a estar escuchando. Bien, entiendo, no hay problema. En serio, espero que, que se mejore y gracias por hacer el esfuerzo de unirse a la clase. Sí, gracias. Ok. Very good. We are about to finish, you know. We are just missing today, tomorrow, and Thursday's class. Three more classes. And then you are going to move to a different level. Imagine. Ya vamos por el segundo módulo. Hello, Silvia. Good evening. Don't worry, don't worry. Very good. Bien, los demás sí, eh, traten de encender su cámara para que podamos vernos y podamos interactuar, ¿ok? Very good job. Now I can see you. There we go. Listen, I was mentioning today that we are about to finish section number five and section number five it's about asking about the time and asking about activities that you are doing in this moment i was checking the exercises from the platform and some of you were having problems Recordemos que la plataforma no les va a aceptar la respuesta si no utilizamos el apóstrofe. Si es una tilde que estamos usando, no la va a reconocer. Así que el apóstrofe es bien importante que lo utilicemos correctamente. Ok, so it's time to start with the class right now. I already have 15 students. ¿Qué puntuales? ¿Quién es estudiante ya? Excellent. I really like that from this group. And what class is this one? Who can remember? ¿Qué clase vamos ya? What class is this one? 14. 14. There we go. 14. 14. Remember the correct pronunciation. 14. Section number five. 14. What are you doing? In this class, we are going to practice with intonation when we make questions, we need to make the correct intonation. And we also are going to practice asking this question. What are you doing? What are you doing? That is the question for today. And for that question, we are going to have the present continuous and the WH questions as well. Okay. 
that is the topic for today. Okay. Intonation, present continuous, WH questions. Para que tomen nota, ahí están los temas de ahora. Yesterday, if you remember, we were practicing. What was the topic from yesterday? ¿Qué estábamos practicando ayer? What was the topic from yesterday? We have one question. What is the question that we were practicing yesterday? What time is it? What time is it? And if I ask you right now, can you tell me what time is it? Look at your clock or your watch and tell me what time is it? Eight o'clock. It's o eight after two. Okay, it's eight o'clock. Mm, not really, it's not eight o'clock. It's, it's eight o four. four. Eight o four. Eight o four. Eight o four. There we go. What time do you go to bed? What time do you go to bed? What time do you go to bed? ¿A qué hora se van a la cama? Go to sleep. I What go time? at 10 p.m. Okay, at 10 p.m. Very good. The time. Yes, what time do you eat? your breakfast what time do you eat your breakfast at 8 a.m okay at 8 a.m at 6 6 at 6 okay at 6 in the morning what time do you go to work or what time do you go to study what time? It's six night. Okay. What time do you go to work or what time do you go to study? A qué hora van a trabajar o qué hora se van a estudiar? What time? At one p.m. At 1 p.m. Yes. Yes, tell me about your information. I go at 1 p.m. I go. I go 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Very good. I go, I go at 5. At 5. Okay. I am bien. I am. Uh -huh. Look, I am. if I ask you a question and you don't know the specific time, si les hago una pregunta y no saben la hora específica, podemos hacer dos cosas. Uno, you can use the expression in the morning. In the afternoon, in the evening, at night. Look, we have some expressions. Si no sabemos la hora específica, podemos decir esas expresiones. Por ejemplo, what time? Do you go to work? ¿A qué hora se van al trabajo? Y no hay una hora específica. Oh, I go in the morning. I go in the, in the afternoon. I go in the evening. I go at night. Okay? If we are not sure about the specific time. What time do you have your breakfast? ¿A qué hora hacen su desayuno? No es una hora específica siempre. Que yo pueda decir at 8 o'clock, a las 8 en punto, ni un minuto más, ni uno menos, no. Si no sabemos la hora exacta, también usen esta expresión. 
around 8 a.m. ¿A qué horas tienen su desayuno? Mm, around 8 a.m. Alrededor de las 8 de la mañana. Because we are being specific. Estamos siendo específicos. In English, it's very important to be specific. Seamos específicos, ¿ok? At 8 a.m., at 1 p.m. <laughs> what time is your English class? Ahí sí se la respuesta específica. What time is your English class? Teacher. Sí. Diga. En la, bueno, es en la madrugada, digamos. Uh -huh. Cuatro y media siempre puede decir in the morning, four, four thirty. En la M o en the morning. Ok, seamos específicos. Veamos, ¿qué decimos en la madrugada? That is a great question. Morning. ¿De qué horas a qué horas morning. va la mañana? Morning. Decimos 5 de la mañana, 4 de la mañana. Creo que empezamos desde las 5, right? 5 a.m. Eleven. Okay. Morning. We use the expression AM. AM. ¿Cómo le llamamos entonces a las doce en punto o las doce de la tarde? Noon. This is. An expression that we are going to use only for 12, 12 in this case, p.m. O algunos lo expresan como así, miren, 12 noon del mediodía, but in English is p.m. 12 en punto. And after that, ¿qué tenemos después de eso? Miren. La expresión after, que significa después, after noon, después del mediodía, afternoon o tarde, ok? It goes from one to six p.m. One p.m. to six p.m. That is afternoon. And then we have evening. Por eso decimos good evening. Because it goes from 7 p.m. Um, acá puede ser alrededor de las 9, 9 or 10. La costumbre casi siempre, antes de irnos a dormir, It can be 9 p.m., you know? Algunos lo expresan a las 10 de la noche. O oh, 9 to 10 p.m. That is evening. Good evening. Good evening. That's why we say evening. Night. We can have night. From 10 p.m. To... Llamémosle 12, no, 11, right? Night. 9 o 10 de la noche, 9, 9 p.m. Depende si nos vamos a acostar antes. Pueden decir también good night, good evening. O 11 p.m. Look. And then we have, tenemos las 12. Eso ya es midnight. ¿Desde qué hora va la madrugada, clase? 12 a.m. hasta las 5. 4. 4. 5. 4. 4. And there we have the expression. Morning, noon, afternoon, evening, night, and midnight. 
That's it. Expressions in English. Morning, noon, afternoon, evening, night, and midnight. With all of these expressions, we are going to use prepositions. Miren esto. En el caso de morning, nosotros decimos in the morning, in the morning, in the morning, in the morning, at noon, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night, and at midnight. Así se refiere uno a estos tiempos. In the morning, at noon, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night, and at midnight. Let me give you one minute so you can copy these information so you can remember and practice. Please copy the information. You have one minute. So, yo voy a trabajar. Tendría que ser este 4:30 at midnight. Eh, se levanta para ir a trabajar. No, a esa hora me voy. A las 4 de la mañana. Tendría, sí, 4 y media. A esa hora tendría que decir. Uh -huh. Como usted preguntó a qué hora nos íbamos al trabajo. Uh -huh. Yes, if you want to use the expression, you can say at midnight o podemos decir at 4 a.m. Si somos específicos. Yes. That's ah, okay. It. Wow, Gracias. Sara, qué resistencia tiene. ¿A qué hora uh -huh. se cuesta, Sara? Ah, después de la clase ya estoy que ya caigo. Imagine, desde las 4 de la mañana, wow. Yo era una strong girl, una mujer muy fuerte. Imagine. <laughs> yes. So at midnight. Did you finish copying class? Can I stop sharing the information? Dejo de compartir. Sí, okay. Sí, okay. No olviden estas expresiones. Ayer no pudimos terminarlas, but these are time expressions. To talk about activities that we do every day. What time do you go to sleep? I go at midnight. I go at 10 p.m. Those are examples. Let's have the last activity expressing the time. Look at this activity and we are going to complete this exercise. What time is it? Is it a.m. or p.m.? Is it a.m. or p.m.? Remember, you can say times in different ways. For example, we can say 1.15 or a quarter after one. Yesterday we were practicing. First example. What time is it? It's a quarter to four or it's 3.45. Son las tres y cuarenta y cinco. Number two, it's 7 p.m. or we can also say that it's seven in the evening. It's seven in the evening. Number three, what do you think is the correct way to say it's 6.15 in a different way? How do we express number three in different words? It's 6.15. A quarter after six. Mm -hmm. A quarter after six. 
It's a quarter. Remember, it's a quarter. It's a quarter, it's a quarter after six. It's a quarter after six. Class, do you agree with this answer? ¿Están de acuerdo con esa respuesta? Do you agree? Miren, do you agree? ¿Están de acuerdo? Eso significa, do you agree? Yes, teacher. No, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Very good. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Number four. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 o'clock at 10 p.m. It's 10 very good. It's at night. It's, it's 10. 10 at night. Cambiamos la expresión at night for p.m. en este caso. It's 10 okay. p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. Very good job. Number five. It's 3.05. It's 3.05. It's 3.05 p.m. It's ha 3 past... No, it's okay. 5 past of 3. Ok. Eh, escuché, it's 3 p.m. Pero ¿cómo sabemos que es p.m. o a.m.? We don't know. So, it's not p.m. Five past of three. Five. Five. Past. After. Or after. Is five after past of mm -hmm. three. It's five after three or it's five past three. What is the correct expression? Past or after? After. 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 Yeah. Ya aprendimos after. ayer. It's past. past. It's past. by past. after. Mm -hmm. So. Digamos así. It's five past three. Pasaron cinco de las tres. Number six, what do you think about number six? It's 25 to 11. It's 25 to 11. What time is it in number six? It's 10. It's 10. 35. It's 10. 10. 35. Very fine. Do you agree with this answer or do you have a different option? It's 10 35. Están de acuerdo con esto? Do you agree? Yes, uh -huh. It's 25 to 11. Yes, Richard. Yes, Richard. <coughs> Okay. Number seven. Number seven. It's one o'clock in the morning. It's one o'clock in the morning. What time is it? It's one a.m. Uh, one a.m. It's one a.m. It's one a.m. M. ¿De qué otra forma podemos decirlo? Midnight. There we go. There we go, Eunice. It's one. Midnight. ¿Cuál es la más común? It's one a.m. It's one midnight. Number two is the most common. It's one midnight. Because we are expressing... Yes, that is in the morning, but it's at midnight. There we go. 
In number eight, it's midnight. What time is it? In number eight. It's 12 a.m. There we go. It's 12 a.m. or p.m.? P.m. P.m. A.m. or p.m.? A.m. A.m. Exactly at 12 a.m. we can say it's midnight. Very good job. What time is it, class? Look. What time is it? 12.50 a.m. Can you express this time in a different way? 12.50 a.m. It's 10 to 1 a.m. It's 10 to 1. A.M. or it's 10 to 1 at midnight. Muy bien, class. Okay. Les pongo otra, aquí vamos. What time is it? Let me make it bigger. Por acá. What time is it? ¿De qué otra forma lo pueden decir? What is another way to say it's 7 p.m.? 7 p.m. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Very good. Mm -hmm. Or seven in the evening. Seven in the evening. Ahí estaba en el ejemplo ya. Muy bien. What time is it? It's 12 at noon. At noon. At At noon. At noon. At noon. At noon. At noon. At At noon. At Será en la noche. At no, noon. right? No. So it's 12 o'clock. That is number one. It's noon. Es la segunda expresión correcta. Or we can say it's 12 in the afternoon. Okay. Pero lo más correcto es noon. It's noon. Así como decimos la expresión midnight, también tenemos noon. This one is midnight, and this one is noon. Así se le llama a esas horas exactas. It's midnight, it's noon. Bien. Questions about the expressions. A.M., P.M., in the afternoon. In the morning, in the evening, at midnight, at night. ¿Cómo nos sentimos con ese ejercicio? Practicarlo. We need to practice, exactly. You know, it's very similar to Spanish. It's very similar to Spanish. But what is the difference? That these exercises are in English. I know that you have been completing these exercises and let's practice. Here you have an example and it says, select the two possible correct answers. Seleccionen las dos posibles respuestas correctas, not only one, two. Look at the first mm -hmm. clock. What time is it in the first clock? But wait, hoy pregunto, voy a ser específica. What time is it in the first clock? Maritza, number one is for you. What time is it in the first clock? In the example. It's 12. Uh, Here. It's 12. 
in the example. X to I know it's confused. X. It's two. X two. It's two. Uh huh. For. Pasémoslo a digital. Bueno, tal vez a veces se confunde uno por el tipo de reloj. It's two. Twin. It's two twin. Okay. Or we can say, ¿qué más podemos decir? What time is it? It's 20 after 2. It's 20 after 2. Muy bien. 20 after 2. Very good job. Son las 12 y 20. Second example. ¿Qué hora es? Son 20 pasadas las 2. Son las 2 y 20. Veamos aquí. Empecemos. Number 2. What time is it in this clock? In number two, Eunice, what time is it in number two? It's 10 to 7. It's 10 to 7 or? It's 10 to 7 or? Do you agree or do you have different options? Están de acuerdo? Do you agree? Yes. 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 Karina Alejandra, this is for you. Number three is for you. What time is it? It's 9.45, this one, or? No, it's 8.45. Ah, okay, 8.45, or? It's a quarter to ten. Quarter to nine. Quarter to ten. No, no, it's a quarter to nine. Uh, be careful, it's not a quarter to ten, it's a quarter to nine. Very good job. Silvia, number four is for you. Silvia Elisa. What time is it? It's eleven of five. Okay. Fernando, it's eleven. Fernando Heriberto, it's eleven or five. Or it's five past eleven. It's five past eleven. Do you yes. agree, class? Do you agree or yes. no? Yes. Yes, yes. teacher. I agree. There we go. Yes. Excellent job, Fernando. Catherine Jasmine, this is for you. Just give me one option. Solo una opción. What time is it in number five? It's 3.15. 50 or 15? 15. Okay, repeat, 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. Es que se me escucha como... Se escucha como 50, you know? 15. 15. ¿En dónde no. va la entonación de voz? ¿En la primera o segunda sílaba? 15. Ah, okay. ¿Y en esta palabra en cuál va la entonación? 15. En la primera sílaba. En la primera, muy bien. 50. 15. That is the difference. 50 y 15. There we go. Excellent. It's 4. 15. No, it's 315. No, it's 315. Ah. It's, it's 315. It's not 4, it's 315. Eric Omar. It's 315 or what time is it? Eric Omar. There we go. 
Yes. Is it quarter past four? It's a quarter. It's quarter past three. Four. Four or three? Four or three. Okay, there we go. Class, be careful. <laughs> Sofia Michel. Number six is for you. What time is it? Number six. Yes, this one. Number six is for you. It's four. It's four thirty. It's four thirty. Thank you. And Cristina mm -hmm. America. It's four thirty or. It's half past four. Uh huh. <laughs> Half past four. Okay, I guess Cristina is the best. Thank four. you. It's half <laughs> past four. Veamos cómo nos quedó. Let's click on submit. There we go. 20 points out of 20. Very good job. Lo que me dije que nos falla es... Decían, faltan 15 para las 4 y después, no, no, faltan 15 para las 3. Ah, ¿se confunden? ¿Cuál es la hora próxima? Pero creo que solo es práctica. You need to practice more giving the time in different ways. We finish with the topic, ¿ok? Movámonos al siguiente tema. It's about listening and practicing pronunciation. This is very important in English. Rising and falling intonation. Rising, it goes up. Falling, it goes down. Así como pusimos el ejemplo de 15 y 50, si no hacemos la entonación correcta, podemos confundirnos. Okay? Listen to this video and then we are going to practice. Here we go. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn about rising and falling intonation okay. in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences, but in one the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Okay. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. Intonation. Okay. If you see, he was explaining about rising intonation and falling intonation. And in English, we have many examples of pronunciation, specifically in intonation. But in today's class, we are just going to practice with these two groups. So lo vamos a practicar con este 
dos tipos. Hay muchos ejemplos en inglés. But this is one of the examples. When we have questions using the verb to be, and when we have questions using WH words or WH questions. Rising intonation. For example, si yo les pregunto, what time is it? What time is it? That is a rising or falling intonation. What time is it? Rising. Huh? Rising or falling? Falling. Falling. Voy a escribirla con negro. Falling intonation. ¿Por qué? Porque inicia con una WH word. Si les pregunto, what's your name? 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 Será que sube la entonación o baja? What's your name? What's your name? What's Imagínense fuera de su vida la entonación. What's your name? No, no suena bien. Es falling intonation in the last one. En la última palabra. Con el signo de interrogación. Esa es la que baja o sube. What's your name? Where are you from? ¿No? Where are you from? from. Baja la entonación. What time is it? What time is it? Baja la entonación. Where is your mom? Where is your mom? ¿En dónde está tu mamá? Where is your mom? What are you doing? What are you doing? Miren, muchos ejemplos con WH words making questions. Rising intonation. Is this, is this your cell phone? Is this your cell phone? Are they your friends? Are they your friends? No? Okay. I'm sorry. I need to mute your microphones. Are they your friend? Is this your cell phone? ¿Qué otro ejemplo tenemos? Is this, are they, is she your teacher? Okay. Is that your car? Miren, sube la entonación o baja la entonación. Two, four, six. Veamos. Pongamos a alguien a practicar so we can listen and identify the correct intonation. Let me have Elena. Elena, veamos los ejemplos con rising intonation, los que suben la entonación al final. Please. Six example, read the example. No he comprendido muy bien, la verdad. Me siento un poco perdida ahorita. But what is your question? ¿Cuál es su pregunta? Es que, bueno, es que realmente lo que me cuesta es que no conozco, digamos, no tengo un léxico más amplio acerca de los... O sea, no manejo muy bien diferentes términos. Prácticamente solo con, con estarlos viendo es que los, los logro identificar. Ah, pero okay, no, los, okay. no los manejo bien. Uh -huh. ¿Qué estamos practicando ahorita, Elena? What are we practicing right now? Este, la, la entonación a donde le ah, vamos okay. a como muy bien. En, en las There we go. preguntas. En las preguntas, ¿cuándo sube la entonación al final y cuándo baja mi entonación al final? Bueno. Uh -huh. ¿Quién me puede ayudar clase? ¿Quién le puede decir a ella cómo eh, han entendido este tema? ¿Cuándo sube la entonación y cuándo baja? Bueno. ¿La entonación sube cuando la pregunta es específica? Miren. 
cuándo la entonación tuve cuando no, la pregunta empieza con el verbo to be ah cuando empieza con el verbo to be en este caso am is and are esto me indica que la puedo responder con un sí y con un no am is are yes and no Ahí sube la entonación de la pregunta. ¿Y cuándo baja la entonación al final? ¿Cuándo inician con las W? En este caso, no las puedo responder con un sí, con un no. Se responden estas preguntas con información amplia o extra. Recuerden, esta es solo la práctica de cómo leer las preguntas para sonar natural en inglés. Ok. This is just pronunciation. Solo es practicar pronunciación. Rosa Karina, veamos, léamelas del primer grupo, please. Six examples. Read, solo léalas. These ones, please. Ok. Is, is she getting up? Mm -hmm. Are they sleeping? It okay. is your cell phone. Excellent. Are they your friends? Okay. Is she, is she your teacher? Excellent. Is that your car? Is that your car? Very good. Karen Jamilex. Now, practice reading these examples. Go, please. What's your name? Mm -hmm. Where are you from? Okay. What are you doing? What's your mom? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Where is your mom? What time is it? Where are you from? What's your name? Okay. Ivan. Primer grupo, please. This one. Go, Ivan. Are, are they sleeping? Is okay. it your cell phone? Excellent. Are they your friends? She is your teacher? She got your car? There we go. Ruth Elizabeth. Practice with this group. Falling intonation. Go. What is she doing? Eh, what are you doing? Ah, perdón, perdón. Mm -hmm. What are they doing? What's your name? Where are you from? Where is your mom? What are you doing? Ok. ¿Para qué nos sirve la entonación, clase? Para diferenciarla de qué? De las oraciones afirmativas. Afirmativas. Si no... Me están sonando como que es una afirmación. Pero no, es una pregunta, no es una afirmación. What's she doing? No. What is she doing? What are they doing? What's your name? Where are you from? What time is it? Where is your mom? What are you doing? Don't forget to exaggerate. Exageremos la pronunciación. Que se entienda que estamos subiendo la entonación o bajando la entonación. Mayra Xiomara, practiquemos con el primer grupo. Let's practice with this group. Please, this one. Go. Is, is, is he getting get up? Okay. Are they sleeping? Is this your cell phone? Are they your friends? Is she your teacher? Is that your car? Okay. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? Is it your cell phone? Démosle esa entonación fuerte al final. Are they your friends? Is she your teacher? Is that your car? Si no se escuchan como afirmaciones. Is that your car? Is she your teacher? No. Exaggerate, please. Audi. This one. Please. Okay. okay. What's she What's she doing? What are 
they doing? What's your name? Where are you, where are you from? What time is, is it? Where is your Where is your mom? Excellent. What are you doing? Very good job. Great pronunciation. Where is your job? Jocelyn Yvette. It's your time to practice. Go, please. Thank you. Jocelyn Yvette, now you, please. Perdón, no había escuchado que se cortó. Ah, okay, don't worry, don't worry. Um, is she getting up? Are they sleepy? Is this your cell phone? Are they your friends? Is she your teacher? Is that your car? Okay. Okay, I got confused, you know. Me confundí. Who was reading? Christina, right? What she doing? What are they doing? Mm -hmm. What's your name? Where, where are you from? What type is this? What is your mom? What are you doing? What are you doing? Where is your mom? Remember a strong intonation. Okay. I still listen. Todavía sigo escuchándolas como que son afirmaciones. Exageremos la pronunciación. Okay. At the end. This is your goal. Esta es su meta. To try to imitate pronunciation to make people understand that I'm making a question, that I am not making an affirmative sentence, okay? Practice. What is your goal? Go and listen to this video and practice as many times as you need. Practiquen todo lo que puedan, okay? Because the intonation, it's something that we really need to practice. Let me see. Questions about this topic. No me quiero mover hasta que los escuche. ¿Cómo se sienten con este tema? Entonación, intonation. Let me listen to you. Is this easy or difficult? Easy or difficult? It's easy. Easy. But we need to practice. Okay. Any other comment? Otro comentario. Quiero escuchar. So I need to be sure. Yes, Ruth. What is your comment? Hasta el momento todo bien, pero lo que a veces se me dificulta es un poquito la pronunciación de las palabras. La pronunciación de las palabras, la lectura de las, de las oraciones, tal vez. Ok, but don't worry, you know, eh, muchas veces no podemos querer abarcar todo de un solo, ok? Vamos paso por paso, no se sientan. Eh, que no podemos hacerlo. Claro, we can do it. This is just practice, okay? You listen and then you practice. What was the recommendation? ¿Cuál fue la recomendación que nos dieron al final del video? Veamos si pusieron atención. What was the recommendation? Yes. Nobody. Who can tell me? Yes. Ah, class, you're not listening. Aquí va, miren, look. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program. I would like you to listen to your favorite English TV program. Vayan, escuchen su programa de TV favorito, su canal de YouTube favorito. Listen, you know, y escuchen esto. 
And notice the rising and falling intonation of. And notice the rising and falling intonations. Of yes or no questions and WH questions. Okay. So that is a great recommendation. Go and watch TV. Go listen to videos or even to music and practice listening because this is very important. Let's move to the last topic for today. It's very easy and it's about activities that we do. Ya en clases anteriores estábamos preguntando, what are you doing? ¿Qué están haciendo? What are you doing? Actions that are happening in this moment. Nathanael, what are you doing in this moment? Give me one example. In this moment, in class. Uh -huh. I'm in class. Será esa una acción que está pasando ahorita. What are you doing? Yes. Sería. Tiene que terminar con ING. I am listening to class. Acordémonos, subject. Más. Verb to be. ¿Qué le seguía? En ING. En ING. Oh, verb. ING. Verb en ING. Que termine en ING en el complement. Acciones que están pasando en este momento. What are you doing? Entonces, I am studying. Wait, wait. I am studying. I am studying. I am studying. I am in the English class. Right now. Miren la segunda. I am in the English class. I am studying. ¿Será que podemos responder también con I am in the English class? Sí, se puede, pero pero no sería un presente continuo. Fíjense que sí la podemos convertir. Y alguien dijo la respuesta. Solo le agregamos right la expresión now. right now. Ahí sí ya se convierte en algo que está pasando en este momento. I am in the English class right now. Pero si solo digo I am in the English class, no es algo que esté pasando. Okay? I am in the English class right now. But we better practice. Practiquemos solo la segunda opción. What are you doing? I am listening to the teacher. To the teacher. I am listening to the teacher. Or we can also say we are listening to the teacher. Oops. We are paying attention to the class. Yeah. We are paying attention to the class. She is listening to the teacher. He is listening to the teacher. Actions that are happening in this moment. Acciones que están pasando en este momento. Okay. Mañana vamos a terminar nuestra idea. Present continuous actions that are happening in this moment because we have an activity with this uh, with this topic les pregunto qué tema vimos ahora antes de pasar la lista what topic were we covering today what time is it what time, what time is it, is it? Uh -huh. present continuous what time is it qué específicamente vimos de esa pregunta what time is it Time expression, time expression, eso vimos específicamente, time expression, expresiones para referirnos al tiempo, tiempo. y luego rising and 
falling, falling intonation, rising and falling intonation. That will be. Very good. So, I'm going to check the attendance list right now. Me dicen here or present, si escuchan su nombre. Aquí vamos. Okay. Who's listening to music? <laughs> Okay, today is Tuesday, 21st. Aquí vamos, Marte 21. Deme un minutito. Auri Joana. Present. Cristina América. Present. Delmis Elizabeth. Present. Eric David. Eric Omar. Present. Fernando Heriberto. Present. Okay. Guadalupe Elena. Present. Iván Alexander. Present. Jenny Elizabeth. Karen Jamilet. Ah, okay. Karen Jamilet. Okay. Present. Karina Alejandra. Catherine Jasmine. Present. Mayra Xiomara. Present. Maritza Elizabeth. Present. Natanael Adonai. Present, teacher. Noemí Esperanza. Present, teacher. Rosa Karina. Present. Ruth Elizabeth. Present teacher. Santos Carlos. Present teacher. Sara Elizabeth. Present teacher. Silvia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sofía Michelle. Present. Susana Elizabeth. Present Toyita Eunice. Present teacher. Jocelyn Yvette. Present. And Soyla Esperanza. Ella se conectó al principio de la clase, pero ah, okay. ven manejando. Ah, ok. Gracias por ayudarme. Clase, recuerden, la asistencia es muy importante porque estamos ya en los últimos días del curso y para que al final le sume 80% o más recuerden es necesario ir sumando todos los minutitos así que nos vemos cuando clase when are we going to see each other tomorrow same time same place ok see you tomorrow thank you for coming bye bye class good night good night good night to you